DJ Eskimo Wicked, said the coolest Wicked. DJ on the motherfucking planet. Wicked tones, you know what I'm saying? What's it? Our Metro Boomin wants some more, nigga. Uh. Squad, man, you already know what it is, man. You already know what it is, man. You already know what it is, man. Best center badges in the game, man. Nah, 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 nah. Look, look, look. Check me out, check me out, check me out, check me out, check me out. Y'all probably wondering, how do I know that these are the best center badges? Yeah, just guess, just guess. It's because I'm the GOAT, man. I'm the GOAT, man. Let's go, man. You see my glass clean lock. I'm gonna show you this dude. My, my glass lock, my 7-3 glass lock has 30 defensive badges. Y'all already seen it, cause I I was just hovering over it and all that. But look, look at my look at my attributes. Just look at my attributes. I got a a 90 97 defensive rebound, 97 offensive rebound. Come on now, I'm a 97 overall. When I hit 99, it's gonna be a 99 um defensive offensive block inner interior defense. All that's gonna be 99. You feel me? My standing dunk is gonna be a 99, man. Oh, oh man, this guy, this dude's gonna be lit. You feel me? This dude, this my my rebounding center though. I use him just to board up. You feel me? Just this a role playing center. You feel me? Look, look, look at all my stuff. Look at all my stuff. Standing dunk, 97. Contact now. Look, I can shoot the midi uh, just a tad bit. You feel me? I need to hit um 99 overall so he can be get the 60 60 on mid range. I'm gonna be showing. You feel me? I literally only get one shooting badges, but that's beyond the point. Look, I have 30 defensive and rebounding badges. Now come on, man. Now let's get let's get into it, man. So the first the first badge, you probably wonder what what badge should I put on first? What should I put on Chase Down Artist first? Should I even put on Clamp? You know what I'm saying? Like you probably wonder what to put on first, man. The first badge you should put on is box out, man. Put on box out, man. Look. Strengthens a player's ability to, uh, to effectively box out opponents in anticipation of a rebound. You know what that means, man. Ain't, ain't nobody getting the board. Ain't nobody is getting the board. Box out, you feel me? Box out, man. This is this is a very effective badge, especially when you your team need boards, man. If you want to go to the rack, man, you need boards in my career, park, rack, everything, pro am, everything. You need you need boards. So this is a must. This is a must have badge. Another must have badge is brick wall, man. Hall of Fame brick wall. Look, I get thirty badges. I'm not no elite. I'm not no nothing. I get thirty badges, not twenty two, not twenty five. 30 you feel me let's, let's look at this next badge man brick wall this is the second must have badge man brick wall hall of fame man did i already say this no i did not this badge makes it tougher for def defense to get through or around screens players hit by contact from a brick wall will lose more energy than normal not only do you lose do you like not only do you take away their energy you also knock them on the ground and it, it takes at least two three four seconds to recover so you know what i'm saying it kind of it, it helps it helps a lot man oh my god it helps a lot when you get on um, what ss1 i think i think you get some type of park badge man oh my god it's overpowered man it's um it's amazing man it's amazing these two badges are a must have box and brick wall i'm pointing at the screen like y'all can see what i'm pointing at yeah I, you know what i'm saying i'm tripping box and brick wall they must have badges man must have badges another must have badge intimidator man you have to have intimidator if you don't have intimidator you might as well delete the game because everybody's gonna be scoring on you in the paint you 7-3 for nothing y'all i'm 7-3 with hall of fame intimidator all i do look flick my stick up that's it put my hands up in the air 
Nobody, it's so hard. Nobody can score, man. It's too hard. Yup, y'all, y'all. If you watch my videos, you already know, man. This, you already know. Just go back a little bit, cause I've been playing on my paint meets right re recently, just to be my 610 paint meets, just for more fun. So if you wanna go watch those videos, go ahead and watch those videos. It's it's lit too, you know what I'm saying? But this intimidator badge is it's definitely a must have badge. Gold or Hall of Fame, you have to have it. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, it, if you can't even get all those badges, Hall of Fame is good to have Intimidator on Hall of Fame. Brick wall gold, box gold, or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Alright, the next the next the next must have badge, man. Hmm. I'ma go with I'ma go with matter of fact, I'ma go with rebound chaser, man. Rebound chaser, man. Improves a, a player's ability to track down rebounds from a farther distance than normal. So you know when you first create a player and all of that, and you're trying to get boards, and like he literally just like, you know what I'm saying? Like he's not, like he's, he just putting his hand, like he's acting retarded, like he don't know the ball is, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like he just, he just, and the ball flies over there, you know what I'm saying? Like retarded animations. This helps you chase the rebound. So if the if the rebound bounces, you're jumping a. You know what I'm saying? You jump in a, you gonna, you gonna, you gonna get him. You know what I'm saying? You gonna get him. You know what I'm saying? Rebound chaser. How many times I done said, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? God damn, man. All right, the next badge I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with worm, man. This is this is another must have badges. Defensive leader, chase down artist, and rim protector. They're not a must have, but they are beneficial. But let me let's let's just talk about this last must have badge, man. Worm. You probably wondering what what the hell is that? You know what I'm saying? What what is that? Worm. What? You know what I'm saying? Look, if 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 you're trying to get the board and you're behind the other center, the uh, the center on the other team. If you're behind the center. All you gotta do, wiggle, look, bam. I don't even know if y'all can see that. Look, bam. Just go around both ways. You know what I'm saying? It goes both ways. You know what I'm saying? Go around. He's gonna do a swim move, get in front of him. Rebound chaser is gonna activate. He's gonna get the board. Box out, activate. He gets the board. You know what I'm saying? Big, big, big bodies. If you're a center, this is a must have. If you wanna be a big body in the paint, man, this is a must have, man. Worm. Now, now let's get to the kind of unnecessary badges, but they are very effective, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go from Hall of Fame to Gold right quick. So defensive leader, man. List the defensive abilities of teammates when on the court. Also, at the Hall of Fame level, can see potential shot percentage of opposing players. I don't care what nobody say. Every time I hop on the court with this center, with my glass cleaning lockdown, with Hall of Fame defensive leader, my team is a, a beast on defense. I don't care what nobody says, man. My team is a beast. Are we getting steals? We getting interceptions? Um, passing affection? Interceptions? I'm. What did I just say? Infection? I'm tripping. I'm tripping, man. Come on, man. But yeah, man, defensive leader. And if it's gold, you're not gonna see the percentage. You have to have Hall of Fame, as it says, as it says right there. Also, at the Hall of Fame level, can see potential shot percentages of opposing players. That means everybody on the if 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 you got a center and it says glass cleaner and power forward glass cleaner or something, you know what I'm saying? Like, pretend I'm guarding a power forward glass cleaner. I'm not I'm not sure if he could shoot. You know what I'm saying? With defensive leader, guess what I do? I let him come down the court. See where his percent is at? If it says zero at the three point, I'm sitting in the paint. I'm sitting in the paint. Hall of Fame Intimidator, baby. You already know what it is. Come on, man. Ain't, ain't, ain't worried about that. Ain't worried about that. If I see an open man, that's what I'm doing. Running out of hands up, hands up. Hall of Fame Intimidator. You not scoring. You know what I'm saying? You, I, I am a center, so I am slow. But the seven three, so he is slow. But you know what I'm saying? You, how many times I done said that, man? Oh my God. Chase down artists, man. Matter of fact, matter of fact, let's go to re rim protector first. You need rim protector because rim protector work hand in hand with intimidator. It also works with chase down artists, but you know what I'm saying. It work hand in hand with intimidator, man. Rim protector improves players' ability to block shots, unlocks special block animations, and gives a boost to the uh, to the takeover meter for the blocker and blocker's teammates following a block. I just totally didn't I don't even know what the fuck I just read. Hold on, let me reread that right quick. Improves players' ability to block shots, unlocks special block animations, and gives a boost to the takeover meter for the blocker and blocker's teammates following a block. 
Meaning, nigga, with my Hall of Fame and Tim there, I put my hand straight up. Nobody's scoring. Nobody's scoring. With rim protector. Guess what I do? Just just time time just time it. You can time blocks now. Don't sleep. You can time blocks. Just time it. Um, ain't nobody scoring. Ain't nobody scoring in the paint, man. It's too hard, man. And with Chase the Artist, y'all already know Chase the Heart Artist on gold, man. Boost the speed and leaping ability of a player when he is chasing down an offensive player in anticipation of a block attempt. Come on, man. If I'm at the three-point line and and I have to switch on a guard or something, you know, because some sometimes some people run like two guards and a small forward. It's basically three guards, but you know, I'm just saying like a small forward, just a small. He, he big, but he he a guard. You know what I'm saying? So he, he way faster than me. If I'm guarding a small forward, he's gonna try to cook me up. He probably out there at the three. If he can shoot, I gotta guard him out there. You feel me? So I'm gonna be there. Say a rebounding wing. Actually, let's just say a rebounding wing. So I gotta guard the rebounding wing out at the three. So if the rebounding wing wanna, <clears throat> you feel me? If he'll go, if he know what what he doing with his rebounding wing and he caught, cook me up and pass me, that's all I do. Turn around, chase him. I might do this slow, but with these badges, it's gonna give me animations, baby. You feel me? It's gonna give me animations, man. Coming on the court. Guess what? I'm slapping, slapping all of that, man. I'm slapping all of that. You know what I'm saying? Damn, this is a 10-minute video, man. I gotta end the video in a second. But yeah, you see, these are these are my defensive badges. These are the best defensive badges in the game. Um, for a center, if you have a guard, um, clamps is good. Um, I don't use pogo stick because um, it just sometimes I just be spamming triangle just because I know I have pogo stick and it puts me out of place. So I just took it all the way off. Uh, heart crusher, it's it's okay, but. Eh. It kind of slows the other opposite team down, but you know it, it is what it is. Pick dodger, I don't even need that. Pick pop, I just you feel me? I just bully through the screens. Like, I'm too big to even set it. I'm too big for them to set screens on me. But even though I am slow, but stay feel me. I don't need lightning reflexes. I'm not in no passing lanes. I'm main. I'm mainly in the paint, so I'm not really in no passing lanes. All I got to do is hit square and I tap a little paint pack. You know what I'm saying? Not, not, I don't need that. Post move lockdown, don't need that. I'm a big body and I know how to play defense, but if you don't know how to play defense, uh, probably take off defensive leader and put it on post move lockdown. But moving truck is better than post move lockdown because not a lot of people actually do post fades, post you know what I'm saying? No, not, not a lot of people do that in this 2K. So it is what it is. But yeah, man. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, man. You already know what it is, man. I'm, I'm only here to help y'all. If y'all want to know the best finishing badges, man, I'll let y'all know, man. I'll hop on my other video and show y'all my badges. Show y'all what my player is doing, man. Now, let's go, man. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for this helpful video, man. Let's go.